Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I'm going to take a training on Agile values and principles. As we all know, most of the implementations nowadays are Agile based. So it's very important we know these values and principles so that anything that we do in our project, we can align those work to one of its values and principles. To start with Agile values, the first point we need to remember is individuals and interactions over processes and tools. As we all know, in Agile, it's very important that we collaborate with the team members instead of relying more on documentation. That way, we know what to develop. Similarly, the entire team, when it comes to QA or BA, they're clear on what to deliver. Second thing is working software over comprehensive documentation. As it is very important that we demo the real software every sprint so that we know where we stand instead of coming up with the detailed documentation and getting approval from the business. The third point is customer collaboration versus contract negotiation. So it's not that you, know, you have a business owner who completes the requirement documentation along with the business analyst and approve those documents and give it to the development team. And then the development team works on that. In case of Agile, it's very important the business team interacts or collaborates with the development team on a day-to-day -day basis so that the product can be delivered successfully. It should not be like you know, a contract where it is signed off and done, and then the development team will not be having access to the customer, and they will just rely on the documentation. That should not be the case in case of Agile. Fourth one is responding to change versus following a plan. It's not like waterfall model. You have a requirement session for three months and then development for next three months. And if in case, if something changes, it should come as change request. In case of Agile, we should have a methodology in such a way that if there is any change as part of our iterative methodology, we should be able to you know, include those changes. As we all know, changes are inevitable. So it should not be a case where we cannot incorporate those changes. These are the Agile values. To start with principles, Agile principles, customer satisfaction is the highest priority. As we all know, customer is the one who is going to use the software. So on a periodic basis, we need to make sure we demo the software to the customer and get their feedback. And they should be happy at the end of the day. Changing requirements are always welcome. So as we all know, in the, during the initial phases, we are just starting. So we will come up with a plan as the project progresses, we get more data. As a result, we could have some new requirements. So we should be able to, you know, get in those requirements into the project as we you know, get into the projects. Frequent delivery of working software. We all know in Agile, at least every two weeks or four weeks once, we should demo the working software to the business so that we can get their valuable feedback to the during the sprint review and then incorporate the feedback into the next sprints. Working together on a daily basis. So it's not that no, the business is involved during the requirement phase and then they give the approved documentation to the business and they are not working with the team anymore. Business or the product owner has to be available to the development team for any clarifications on a day-to-day -day basis. Trust and support the team to get the job done. So. In Agile, we all know it's a self-development uh, self teams where there is no one to monitor. Everyone works independently to complete their work as a team. So we need to trust the team so that they can deliver the quality product. Face-to-face -face conversation is very important. In Agile, we know on a day-to-day -day basis, we have a scrum, we have multiple ceremonies where we interact with the team, including the product owner, to get the requirements, to get clarifications. So it's very important we meet face-to-face to, -face to Make sure there is no gap in the discussions. Working software is the primary measure, as I just mentioned in the values. It's very important that we use the working software as the primary measure from the time spent or no documentation is approved. The working software is the one that has to be our metric to know whether we are going in good direction or not. Sustainable development. So it should be like you no know, constant phase, like you know, every two weeks we have to deliver some value. And at the same time, the team should not be, you know, overworked. So the team should be in relaxed day where they should not feel that time overworking. And as a result, the quality of the product comes down. 
as a sustainable effort we have to deliver the product with the given velocity continuous attention to technical excellence it doesn't mean that we are completing every sprint within two weeks and we have to deliver something within two weeks so our design can be relaxed our design should be in such a way that any time when i add new work should be like you no know, robust so we also need to make sure that design of the project is very consistent along with the you no know, value that we give to the customers maintain simplicity the amount of work not done should be our focus it's not that we take like 20 tasks in a sprint and then try to force everything we have to take couple of tasks complete it 100% and demo the same to business so we have to keep our work simple enough so that people are in alignment with the expectation the best results come from self organizing teams as i told you it's very important that everyone within the team know what to do and they should be self organized so that the deliverables are completed on time reflect and adjust the regular regularly and accordingly so we have to have a regular retrospective retrospective is where we evaluate how we have done in the sprint and what changes we have to incorporate in the next sprints what went well you doing this sprint so we have to regularly retrospect ourselves as a team so that we know what to change and what to you continue as we are doing today as i told you this is very important we understand values and principles and anything that we do example tomorrow in your project if business comes and says to you you know what let me complete all the requirements and i'm going for a vacation as a development team you can you know do it in the next two months you should push in such a way that as per agile principles it's very important that the customer collaboration is important instead of contract negotiation let's kind of have a daily meeting if you are not available can you have someone interact with us similarly if you have a project where you don't retrospect and uh, as a part of our agile principles it's very important you request your business to have a retrospective meeting where you review what went well and what could have been better, done better so this is your blueprint you need to stick this to your desk and make sure that anything that you do you need to you know use this as your blueprint to deliver the product successfully i hope you like this training video if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye